We are now into hour 18 of Garbage Day, and it's time for Poke Fanon, the Elizabeth oh Storybook Fanon. <laughs> uh, we Ooh. are we are diving into a <laughs> we're diving into a Pokemon Fanon story at, <laughs> by a uh, m- m- mostly done by <laughs> by a person named that calls themselves foodie eater <laughs> what that is i mean that is its primary function i'm glad they <laughs> yeah got that far in life. foodie eater uh joining us uh joining us this hour is portax <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm sorry did i forget to mention i've added guzzlord screaming for this entire thing <laughs> oh hell yeah, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. yeah. I've realized that I don't know how to get rid of it after this hour, so I guess Guzzler's just going to hang out for the rest of the <laughs> stream. That's cool. That's cool and so, fun. I love looking forward to Guzzler someone pressing that out of curiosity. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and get right on in, because I'm sure that we've got a... I've got an answer to a question that I'm sure a lot of people have had on their mind since they saw this. What is Pokemon Storybook? Well, Elizabeth Storybook... Uh, I'm going to explain to you the character Elizabeth Storybook. It's such a, Elizabeth Storybook, inventor of the storybook. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Elizabeth Storybook is the main protagonist of Pokemon Storybook. <laughs> yeah? It's not just a cute nickname then. <laughs> kind of born into that life at that point. She is a Pokemon trainer from Howley City. Like mm-hmm. how Ash always returns to Kanto before going to a new region. Elizabeth always returns to Alola before visiting a new region. Oh no, this is recent. Oh no. <laughs> She's also oh, a gym right. leader of the Enchanted Gym. She is voiced <laughs> by Cassandra Lee Morris. In the future, Elizabeth becomes the gym leader of the Enchanted Gym. Wait. She's she gym leader of Enchanted Gym. Schrodinger storybook. So now, what she's saying is that she specked into scholar. <laughs> right. It's just tenure now. Elizabeth is a fair... Now, here's her appearance. Elizabeth is a fair-skinned girl who seems to have a preference for things that are rainbow-colored. That's her right. hair is that. rainbow, and cool. she is usually depicted mm-hmm. wearing a pink yukata, a type of kimono. Sure. <laughs> she has... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, yes. She has the ability to transform into any Pokemon. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. oh, hell yeah. And can, <laughs> and can also change her voice. <laughs> no, her voice has to change to be the same ever, no matter what Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> she will automatically be <laughs> She will uh, be automatically restored to full health once she turns back into a human. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So I guess. That's just OP. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah, later right. became a master at imitating voices with help from Ultra. We'll find gotcha. out who Ultra is later. She's also immortal and cannot die. <laughs> <laughs> That's God. the most important part. Why was that not? <laughs> oh, She's but I think God. She also has abilities. Hey, Maul, would you please read her abilities? Yeah. Boy. In- Intellix gave her these abilities Ooh, as hell thanks yeah. for saving her Pokemon. Saving her Pokemon from Hunter J. Yeah, thanks, Intellix. No shit. Number one, Pokemon transformation. <laughs> Elizabeth can transform into any Pokemon for an unlimited amount of time, but can't change her voice. Mm. This is indicated point. in episodes with Elizabeth slash Pokemon. Oh. oh, already writing episodes that don't fucking exist. Yeah. <laughs> 
Her second ability, uh, uh, reproductive manipulation. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, what? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Elizabeth you. can create new Go organisms, forward. such as Pokemon, by removing an egg and sperm from a male and female Go with a psychic -like effect and then combining them. She's a sperm wonder! <laughs> <laughs> She can choose to either destroy or keep the resulting organism. <laughs> she has However, the power of a god. We don't know how the eggs got there. Matter of fact, we don't really want to know at this point. TBH. When doing it just for demonstration, she usually destroys it. Wow! Can't make an omelette without a... <laughs> hey, what the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. Let's let's explore that a bit. What the? <laughs> you know, I thought after the carnivals, I was like, oh, good. This next one can't be that bad. <laughs> uh, just to help you picture it, the cells are greatly enlarged and float in the air when doing this. Oh, thank God, we can see it when fetish. she does it. Huh? Oh, so she's the Tony Stark of Pokemon genes. Got it. She also Don't has. Like that. Voice imitation. <laughs> Wait. She can't change Wait. her voice. No, she but can't she change it. She, okay. Yeah. She can perfectly imitate almost anybody's voice. Then you can't. Okay. okay. Sure. All right. So we know her powers, but does she have any weaknesses or flaws? Uh, oh, sorry. She does. In the chat she is a... welcome to the front tundra. <laughs> she is a well-balanced character. Don't let anyone tell you she's a Mary Sue. Okay. Elizabeth, <laughs> Elizabeth can't naturally change her voice when transforming. Instead, she uses voice impressions. Okay! She <laughs> get it? Cool. I guess. It is a That's like so. <laughs> oh my god. She's also terrified of young goose and oh. runs away screaming from them. Oh no! If there's okay. one of these Pokemon nearby, she'll flat out refuse to go near them. <laughs> well, they're everywhere in Alola, so, um... <laughs> yeah, she's locked inside for most of her life, I suppose. <laughs> Good. Why? <laughs> <sighs> she is easily distracted and oh. can't get so focused on one thing, oh. such, as, such as Rotom, that she forgets what's going on. Is she perhaps random? Is that a... <laughs> Oh, is, she, I mean, is she a chibi baka? It, in it? fairness, Rotom <laughs> is pretty fucking cool. It is. Yeah, it's a circle. But, uh, it's got a face. <laughs> what are you going to ask for? Come I think we got a bomb shell to drop here, yeah. though. Yeah. Uh, actually, her supposed reproduction power is fake. Oh, she actually created sugar using... <laughs> Yeah, Side Dolphin Psychic. What? Yes, Sugar and Side Dolphin. Come on. <laughs> Little known that to the movie Psychic. Actual, <sighs> yeah. Actually. <laughs> uh, she has trouble making friends and is antisocial because she prefers Pokemon more than people. Oh, she's shy and she's easily distracted. Uh, oh no. She's very overprotective of her Pokemon and has a crying fit. If even one gets injured, she appears to have attachment disorder and OCD. <laughs> oh God, she may. Yeah. Destroys, she, she creates may. and destroys, and it ends. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she may also be a sociopath. Ooh. That checks out. That checks out. Yeah. Fan fiction checklist. Just kind of. Go <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth t t treats Rotom and Dragonet. Dragon. As oh, her pets. oh, we'll learn more about Dragonet <laughs> later. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and spoils them, unlike any other Pokemon she has. The rest she, she even... destroys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. She even confirmed that she is so attached to them that she says she would be depressed for the rest of her life if they disappeared. And she cherishes them so much that she doesn't even let them battle. <laughs> she says that, but really she's making it up. Dragon uh, is just like a regular fish. It's just a tropical fish, so she's got like... <laughs> Cartoon monster ghost. Uh, yep. Photorealistic fish. <laughs> oh, we will learn so much more about Dragonet. Oh god. Oh. Perhaps her most dire weakness slash flaw. She can't age as a result of the series floating timeline. So oh, she'll still god. die from other <laughs> No, she can't. Everyone else has cartoons. I like it. Oh, right above the building. She's immortal. 
Yeah, she can't no. die. No, she's immortal. She can't die naturally, but she can be killed. No, it's just like if she the can't change her from voice. Duckamuck shows up and erases her, or if perhaps <laughs> Judge Doom sticks her hen dip. Hey, Bortax, <laughs> could you could you please go into her character a little more deeply? Could we though? I think we can. Elizabeth is a very kind and ca- or caring and kind person, no doubt. She loves all of her Pokemon, as particularly Rotom and Dragonette, uh... the actual real life fish that she has, and is incredibly protective of them. We established this, I think. If mm-hmm, one of them is mm-hmm. in danger, she'll do anything she can to protect them, such as getting stolen by Team Rocket, although she isn't great at keeping them from stealing her Pokemon. Well, well they- she is pretty easy to distract. Suck at it then, I guess. Uh... Villa now teams uh, who often make Pokemon <laughs> fight to exhaustion never show them a drop of respect keep them in cages and use them as tools for battling our sharp <laughs> contrast to Elizabeth and her Rotom oh. who, treats, who she treats as her best friend and carries in her arms instead of in its Pokeball because of its own preference all of her Pokemon are walking Pokemon uh. and tag along behind her <laughs> she's stuck in a DS game for the rest of her life and never <laughs> Pokeball, since she believes it's cruel to combine a Pokemon like that against her will, unfortunately, she is oh. often bullied and made fun of by other trainers because of this. Even though it happens, <laughs> what? it happens yeah. in all media all the time. And whatever. On several occasions, she was uh. <laughs> on several wow. occasions, she was harmlessly Ooh. bonked on the head with a squeaky hammer. <laughs> <laughs> in a cartoon way that could not possibly be interpreted as anything else. Okay, uh, just uh, we're skipping the part that's a skipping, but go ahead and read some trivia on her. Oh, okay. okay. I'm really so, yeah, excited. So, uh, one thing you might want to know about Elizabeth the J uh, Storybook Esquire the Third: she is heavily based on Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh. See, I'm Known fan see of you guys. Rob. Uh, Jot- Johto is the only region where all of Elizabeth's Pokemon she obtains in the region, not counting Rodon, Manaphy, Fiona, who are always with her, have the Abilites confirmed. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Vague canon from a TV show that doesn't exist. Uh, she is left handed. Uh, this is the opposite of oh. Rotom and Dragonet, who are both right armed and right finned, <laughs> respectively. Okay, it is Ro- a real what? photorealistic fish. Manaphy and Fiona are ambidextrous. <laughs> um, who gives a yeah. shit dude <laughs> what <laughs> that's not in the trivia we all uh, uh, although nobody except Rotom, Dragon, and Manaphy and Fion and basketball <laughs> <laughs> My favorite basketball sport. capitalized what? basketball is something's name which I enjoy <laughs> knows this but she is HIV positive. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, that you know that thing that comes up a lot. I'm sure that there won't be anything else that comes from that. Don't well, worry. I'm sure this is all completely canon. She has appointments every six months and was born with it. She was born with appointments. During the <laughs> Dragon that's Battle Bond transformation sequence, Elizabeth is shown. <laughs> what? Elizabeth oh, like an anime. Like, okay. She is though. She is. This is trivia. Elizabeth is shown nude with her body covered in a blue glow, like Sailor that, Moon that is, transforming. Right. That is. Right. That is cool. what she does. That is the thing that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have some comments on Elizabeth. Hey, he, if your puppy yeah. porn Ashlyn. Wow. Ah, great name. There's no offense, but she seems kind of overpowered. I say no. I say, <laughs> Why no, you say no offense? I say no offense because this series is really popular on the wiki. <laughs> I say no offense because if I offend you, then everyone's going to chase me off. <laughs> uh, listen. I added a long list of flaws. Yeah. She has OCD and attachment disorder too. Okay. Oh God. Also, oh. she can't change her voice unless she does. Think about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I once hey, wrote Wikipedia on the DSMV too. Hey, Molly, you're Captain Flowers. Uh, yeah. If you consider Storybook overpowered, which she isn't, honestly, <laughs> then the concepts so of my. Or a guardian should be overpowered oh, as well. Boy. I mean, they probably are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's find out. If you quite <laughs> consider Ronald McDonald overpowered and Mugen, then you'd have to consider all the other people overpowered too. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh Captain Flowers, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing. Despite what it says, in Albion, there are relics, <laughs> weapons, and powers. 
that I <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Capable of taking the concept of him taking on the concept of immortality. Okay, <laughs> concept though, not actually. Ooh, this is a good next sentence. Jesus. Oh come on. Yeah. <laughs> Can very well slay a mortal. Could you please repeat that from the beginning? Because he cut out. Oh. Uh, Fifth Guardians can very well <laughs> play Immortals, especially Warana. Oh, this yeah. My favorite thing about Pokemon is that it's Star Wars. That's my <laughs> favorite. Okay, we heard about that. We, we, we heard some name. We heard the name Dragonette oh, dropped. God. Hey, uh, <laughs> Sanguinary Novel, would you tell us about Ninja Dragonette? <laughs> oh, I'd love to. About Dragonette. Bubbles, Japanese. Baburu Chan. Oh, I'm right. back. I'm back in, guys. Baburu Chan. Simply in and more commonly known as her nickname, Dragonette, Japanese. Shitasaka yes. Chan <laughs> is the master of shadows and one of Elizabeth's best friends. She is a pink ninja dragonette who came to the Pokemon world from Reef Town. She is voiced by Leslie yeah. Carrara Rudolph in English <laughs> and Fukuen Misato in Japanese. Yay! She is currently and permanently taken care of by Elizabeth. <laughs> she is also the secret identity of Samantha, the, st <laughs> the steamy, and what is the, the civilian fuck? identity of the cure cerulean Whoa! under the name of Whoa. Nanatsu Evelyn. 90% yeah. like, of this has nothing to do with our starting point. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> Hey this guys, did you just want gibberish. Pokemon, Pokemon to beat every anime ever? Congratulations! Yay! Her voice sounds exactly like Bubbles from Splash and Bubbles. <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes because sense. Why? I'm not Googling that. Because I'm an uncreative hack, obviously. <laughs> because she is voiced by the same person and is Bubbles from Splash and Bubbles. What? Oh, what? yeah, that would do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's why she sounds like her. Uh, Thank you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, no. uh oh. Uh oh. Escape. Ninja novel. Ah, uh, Ninja Dragonette's got her. Oh no! No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Thank uh -oh. just fighting Ghost Lord. It's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll have you know, though, she's chosen per to permanently stay in the Pokemon world instead of returning to her own world, since it is where Ninja Dragonettes like her belong. <laughs> what? She what is, is a water. She's about. a water type, like all ninja dragonettes. Note what? to self: <laughs> When dragonette what? sees a page that somebody other than Elizabeth, Sky Linda, or Josie makes, she will turn into her hybrid state and call Hyper Zergling instead of putting the offender's page up for deletion and attacking them with mucus shuriken. Oh my God! Uh, is dragonette a wiki editor? No. <laughs> What? what? No, they said mucus shuriken. I think it is a wiki editor. I think that's what <laughs> it is. One hey, of their main moves. <laughs> I think it's, it's really food eater. <laughs> hey, uh, uh <clears throat> hey, uh, what's her normal appearance, Eve? Ah, uh, normal. Well, <laughs> yeah, Dragonette has dark uh. pink skin on her head face and the front of her body and is mm, primarily mm. blue on her back half past her head. Yeah. Okay. okay. Her lower jaw is a lighter shade of pink. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just, it really is just a photo uh, <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what? Why is this hard? Google a around? dragonette right now and you will see the exact fish that this thing is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It, she has large, swirly orange and teal stripes on the rest of her body. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Her large pelvic fins and, and all her other fins, except her pectoral fins, <gasps> are orange with purple tips and pale sea green spots. <laughs> okay, now skip down to the sex oh. paragraph, please. <laughs> uh, great story. <laughs> oh, okay. God. Okay. Uh, unlike in her original world, where she was rendered in CGI, <laughs> oh hell yeah, she is drawn <laughs> in a, <laughs> another universe. <laughs> she is drawn in a more typical <laughs> hand-drawn <laughs> anime style, of keeping her Sorry. original appearance oh. 
and faulty proportions from splashing bubbles to prevent <laughs> them standing out. All ninja dragonettes have a s- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all based on her. All ninja dragonettes have a oh, similar God. basic shape and body proportions to her. Good. Okay. But now heck? we need. But now uh, is it? Is there something specific? Is there something specific to Ninja Dragonette that makes her uh, particularly tragic? Oh my uh, fucking god. That's it's not in this fan fiction. This isn't the right word. Ah, oh, that pisses me off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Piss yeah, is what that, pisses you off? Okay. Ichthyine immunodeficiency virus. Woo! Or IIV is a disease that infects uh, fish Pokemon. It is a virus that attacks and weakens the immune system. Of oh. course. Hmm. Symptoms. Once infected. The infected Pokemon usually has flu-like yeah. symptoms that can be mm. easily passed off as a cold or flu. You don't sure. say. Yeah. All right. They also might have an unexplained fever, rashes, mm. or weight loss. <laughs> mm. However, these symptoms usually go after away after a little while, and then there may be no symptoms at all. Thus, an infected Pokemon may not know they have it. So, like, <laughs> it doesn't uh, seem like it really actually does anything, really. No, yeah. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> it makes the fan fiction better. That's yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Fish AIDS makes the fan fiction way better. It is. Uh, contagion. <laughs> it, it is not spread by casual contact, but is spread when fluids, such as an infected Pokemon's blood or... Certain fluids oh. that might be Ooh, present. What could those be? <laughs> well, they might be they might be present during reproduction, getting into the blood st- what the yes. bloodstream or mucous membranes. <laughs> yes. Why is there so much sex stuff in Pokey Man? It, it can also be passed from an infected mother to a baby if she isn't careful. Hey, at least it's not the person, Julia. Saliva, tears, or similar yes. fluids such as pee, mucus, milk, or sweat do not <laughs> spread it. Guys. Milk. They milk. don't milk. spread it. Fish, fish milk? Are we talking about fish, fish milk? milk. We're talking about fish, fish milk. milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, if a Pokemon's viral load... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? This is just Digimon <laughs> now. Well, yeah, that's a sentence you need to finish, actually. Pokemon if a Pokemon's viral load, load is undetectable and stays that way, <laughs> there is almost zero risk of infectable body fluids transmitting it. Good. <laughs> Infected blood slash reproductive fluids touching intact skin that is not a mucous membrane oh, is not a risk. God. Unless said skin is cut or broken. Which they <laughs> would in battles, which is the entire focus of the franchise. The Pokédex like, just like says all this when you like hit the <laughs> Yeah, button, it starts right? with just the stuff. Off me. It's a nice PSA. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um sanguinary novel. Is there a cure? There is no cure. Damn it. There are medications oh, that can control the virus. Mm, okay. If you can afford them. <laughs> However, without any treatment, the immune system will only become weaker and weaker as the virus continues to replicate. Okay, could you tell me about the Pokemon that are living with it? <laughs> Dragonets. Sugar. Born with it. Well, yeah. Lavender. Maybelline. Cherry. <laughs> born with it. <laughs> Shadow. Hyperdimension, but that is an unknown status. I mean, oh. <laughs> same here. Uh, okay, could you give me some trivia? Oh yeah, some shadow. trivia on fish aids. It is a fictional equivalent of HIV for fish and oh, has the same oh. effect. The two no viruses shit. are oh. so, so similar. That would explain everything, I guess. <laughs> Explains nothing. Like the real life disease, it is impossible to know if a Pokemon has <sighs> IV by looking at them. Dragonette has pointed this out before, and that she doesn't look ha- doesn't look any different. Hold on, I, I need to turn my chair I'm around. Like, <laughs> sitting <laughs> backwards. For adorable this cartoon monsters that are just like prejudiced against people with, or sorry, Pokemon with fish aids. Is that like, the fact that this is an Alola makes this recent? <laughs> yep. Pokemon AIDS is like so 2005. 
I'm just expecting like a big speech by a Pokemon about this, but they're just saying their name over and over again. Oh, no. <laughs> on a, on a, on a ninja, dragon, ninja, dragon, ninja, ninja. Yeah, it's just like uh, inspiring. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I gotta put on the deer voice. Hey kids, it's currently unknown if I've has affect <laughs> Pokemon's based on mermaids or other oh, parts of fish creatures, since right. they are part fish, but also part mammal. Human. What? Oh, Unlike yeah. HIV. Oh, mermaids. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, does fish aids head. affect the fish part of mermaids? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> fish mm. aids on the bottom, party yeah. on the top. Missing party link. Yeah. Unlike HIV, if can't cannot survive in milk. Why'd we mention it uh, earlier? Uh, <laughs> it stays it a... crunchy all day long. Oh, it's gross. Oh, <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's also transmissible in zits. <laughs> oh, that's not in the dock. Okay. That's just you. Okay. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> it was originally believed that it was transmitted through milk, such as nursing ninja dragonettes, but a study conducted proved this was not true and that all if positive fish who are capable of lactating can be their babies. <laughs> so yeah. not. Well, Dude. that is true. All <laughs> the love of people lactating can, can feed their babies. <laughs> Great fucking news. Number <laughs> eight. <laughs> Yo, how many <laughs> nipples does that fish have? Yeah. No. It's <laughs> No. Yes. Please. Oh. There is evidence that in baby d- ninja dragonettes, the milk can actually reduce the virus to an extent. No. <laughs> oh. no. <laughs> hey, so, you- so now that we've learned. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, now that we've learned. <laughs> uh, now that we've learned so much about this world, uh, can. Mm-hmm. Would you believe me if I told you that this fan and wiki has drama? Yes. What? Does it though? <laughs> It, it, I, it I does. It's an unkillable uh, fish egg warrior from another dimension. Let's buy, let's buy it then. Uh, would you please uh, who introduce us to top two four five six? Who is yes. uh, who is um? Just to give it away. Ultra from earlier. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm. Well, I want to edit it. I'm blapping right now. 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 I want to edit it. I want to edit. It. Please unblock me. <laughs> okay, I'll respect your ideas. Just unblock me. Nope. IRL, I'm, uh, I don't want to read that. That's fine, you don't have to. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> all right. Um, That's not funny. Uh, th- all right, Um. so I'm Uni the Explorer. Exploit- Explorer. Exploder. Exploder. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm trying to sort out who owns what here in the wake of the Evan fan issue. All right, we all know what? the Evan fan issue. Uh, no, we don't speak of the Evan fan issue. <laughs> I think one of the main problems was a lack of ownership templates, okay? Everyone can agree it was just an issue with templates. Evan probably saw that there were multiple editors and thought he could join without asking, which is just a rookie mistake. Now, you're receiving this message because I see you, you, top 2456, I see that you edited some of the affected pages. Just a reminder that ownership templates help new users as much as they do you. Show, hey, uh, I want you to know that this is stereotyping. <laughs> Please read. I think it's typecasting. Uh, is yeah. It? Uh, I'm Polar Bear 114. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing editing my series? Well, why are you, you making an episode? Damn polar bear. <laughs> why, are you making an, why are you making an episode for Kanto the New Path? You haven't been given permission to write an episode for me or edit my series. Ah, are you fucking kidding me? A Nagima lover. Hey. Mm. Could you please stop editing other people's article, like Kanto? The new path. It's his <laughs> article, not yours. You got it? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, it's me again. As a warning. As a warning. If you edit one of my articles series, then I'll have to report you. I don't know why you thought... <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I don't know why you thought you could add an episode to my series without my permission, but hey ho, just a warning. Hey ho! Yeah. I'm running low on ideas, like one where Elizabeth is thrown off a cliff by a wild space left blank. Once oh, that we're would be fish. So good, though. 
<laughs> Once we're finished with Enter Gracie, the guard, guard of our uh. Mm. <laughs> Good. Hey, food eater. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, she's my favorite character. It's just too much for me to get rid of her like that. You don't say. Yeah, let's make a compromise. I'll do it as long as it's temporary. That way you can have your plot and I can have mine. Eh, uh, no. You Damn it. me <laughs> off. Thought that was now, gonna work. Face, now face the consequences! <laughs> I think that's about it. I made the one where she goes home. A dream, but with the same plot. Anyways, I'm really sorry about the fuss. Early than the hour. Okay, and then, I'm, yeah, the rest of yep, it. Not gonna read that. <laughs> uh, uh, food eater. Fine then. I'll just have Nagima lover help me then. Oh, using good. my characters you... in your pages without asking. <laughs> Why am I saying that? That's fine. Oh, oh sorry. That's that's actually that is actually um that's actually a uh, a slightly different topic um oh. in which uh in which uh top top two four five six pushes the boundary. Oh dear. But well, you know what? You need to remove my characters and all your sneaky little allusions to them uh, being mentioned. I get it. You're trying to get away with it, but I'm not buying it. Please stop this. Nikina Lover here. Read our two big lips. <laughs> no. Why are your lips so big? <laughs> Read them. <laughs> Feed me <laughs> some. <laughs> 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 Okay, top top is on his final warning here. Uh, Hyper Zergling. You are to remove any mention of characters you do not own from your pages, and I will give you one week as of my posting this messages to do this. Should I receive further complaints about this behavior with evidence after the set time is up, the administration will block you permanently. <laughs> will block you permanently from this site. Consider this your final warning. <laughs> Thank you, your commander of lightning. Hey, uh, did you plagiarize a part of the character summary from Foodie Eater's article? You know that we discourage that sort of behavior around these parts, and I need you to change your article summary as promptly as possible. That's I'm the last sure. straw. You know it has the storybook tag on it, and you know you're not supposed to be editing it. Just wait until the admins find out. <laughs> bye bye. See you later. That's from Shrek. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I it now. That's not even I wouldn't have really known otherwise. From Shrek. I have to let you know. <laughs> I want to fuck fish and Shrek simultaneously, <laughs> is the thing. Your complete disregard for any of my past warnings were not unnoticed. As it is uh, fairly clear, your intent is to cause as much damage as possible until your time is up. I have initiated your permanent ban now. Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, so... We went from hey, top top two, four, show? five, six. Yeah. Uh, did we want to mention incentives this hour? <laughs> oh golly, that's a great point. Yeah. Hey, we got the incentives this hour. Uh, Lesbiathan is uh, uh, offering a short uh, is offering a short story topic and genre your choice. If you donate thirty five dollars and give give please give the topic and the genre. Uh, yeah. she will uh write you a short story. Uh, yeah, the I'm maximum here is three. That fish aids is not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, Choice. no. The maximum here is <laughs> three. Limit one per donor. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and uh, uh, uh you know, contribute for that if you would like. <laughs> um, and in the meantime, uh, let's you know, uh, top two, four, five, six. Oh, uh, so it kind of came and went really fast. Yeah. But Ultra, his character, <laughs> uh, <sighs> still lives on. <laughs> Ooh. Could yeah, have ever really realized. Does. Much like an <laughs> unkillable Rainbow Dash Pokemon woman. <laughs> hey, Malt, could you please uh, read Ultra yeah. the Ruthless? Yeah. Let me and, tell you uh, about my OC. And this is totally by Top 2456 and not by anybody else, probably. Ultra, Urutora, 
in Japan. Nice. Full name, mm-hmm. Ultra Mary Sue. Oh, oh yeah. Elizabeth friends. Oh, yeah. Until being killed by Dragonhead. Oh, he was fuck. one of the most cunning and rude members of her friends. Whoa. He said, fuck. He was a very skilled Pokemon trainer from the Unova region, whose goal was to, is to help Elizabeth and her friends become master trainers as well. Mm-hmm. She's a shape-shifting god. Why the fuck would she care? Yeah. <laughs> He's also one of the main characters in the spin-off Ultra and his Pokemon, God's Pokemon. He is the main character in Valona, and Blissey has a huge crush on Valona. His voice sounds like an average male teenager, but with a slightly tough and sarcastic tone. <laughs> I'm like yeah. the average male teenager. <laughs> hey he can, guys, it's me, Ultra. He can also change his voice to sound older, younger, or have an accent. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Looks like the prize got claimed, too. I've seen that on the ah. stream there. Impressive. <laughs> multiple powers, and is also impossible to kill. Sure. He was given them by Intellix. As he states, he has killed immortal beings like nothing stated in Pokelander's episode. Oh? Intellix almost stole them, but he changed his ways and kept them. He no. also... Oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> we have two, we have two of the three claimed. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so he, excited. He also, 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 he has extensive knowledge on Pokemon eggs, and he can oh. recognize what eggs will hatch into what Pokemon. Oh, he shit. also travels alongside uh. Elizabeth and Aster, alongside Percy, Blair, and Abby. He is the oldest of the group, uh. being 16 years old. Oh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In Live Let Go, Dragonette killed him once for making fun of him for falling off a branch on a cliff. Uh, yep. The group attended his funeral in forgiven regret. Okay. Some cool Thanks. trivia. <laughs> Thanks for the info. <laughs> His voice is by, and it's supposed to represent top two, four, five, six. Oh, he doesn't even get a professional voice actor. God damn it! All right, all three. Well, top two, four, six. Yeah. is a professional. Oh, oh you're right. Like, you just you just Despite... come up to Sean Shovel and be like, "All right, give me your best top two, two, four, five, six voice." <laughs> <laughs> I've got you covered. Despite his claims that none of his Pokemon ever get sick, his rat root. <laughs> yeah, his rat root. Uh-huh. His his rat root has radish mosaic virus RMV. Oh. <laughs> I wonder who edited this. Who I wonder <laughs> like, though. Like Elizabeth's rat root does, it can't be cured either. There are also rumors that his ninja dragon uh-huh. might be IIV positive, but this hasn't been confirmed. He is the ultimate example of a Mary Sue. <laughs> in the cute giant caddis, it is revealed that Ultra Soul was in the ro- was in the robot bell welded by Caddis. Thanks. So, uh, uh, I have a feeling here. Name? So that that whole thing, I'm sure it wasn't edited by Foodie Eater after the fact. But and based on these comments that Foodie Eater left. I'm sure we're going to find that obviously that makes perfect sense what what she's what she's saying here. Can't you just give him one weakness so he isn't such a Mary Sue? This no, phrase yeah, also shows Mary up Sue. multiple times. Give him a mental Jesus. disorder. <laughs> God damn it, Holy God damn shit. It. Top? Oh, sorry. Nah. Yes, I'm on the Pika Fan Wiki. Oh, cool. Fair. <laughs> what? What? Uh, well, gu- uh, guess what? Um, Ultra Mary Sue would probably be his full name if he had one. Oh, Pika <laughs> Face. Uh, someone left some, uh, <laughs> someone left some incriminating evidence behind, I think. <laughs> God, All <damn>. right. We- <laughs> so, uh, we're going to, uh, you know, we got we got a little more time left, and there is something I would like us to get uh, yeah. get through. Uh, so we're going to skip the part here where we talk about other characters such as Sharktopus Good. and Xenomor- the Xenomorph <laughs> yep. and Kim I Jong-un. Can't... We're going to skip all Wait, of those. What? Oh. what? Excuse me? I feel like we should mention at least that the Xenomorph is from Five Nights with Elizabeth storybook too. Yes, obviously. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I figured we all knew that, but thank you. Thank you for uh, filling sure. us in. Uh... 
But I would like us to read, there are two stories I would like us to read. Uh, one of them, the first one is called Lactose Shot. Ooh, okay. uh, Cortex, if you would read the um, synopsis here and also play Elizabeth and then uh, Sanguinary Mix. Um, actually, everybody, just oh, uh, pick up your pick up your characters as you see them. Ooh, this is oh, looking I have a character. Nice. Move over, Shakespeare. All right, <laughs> Lacto Shot synopsis. When Elizabeth is seeing her Pokemon like Clefairy, Psydolphin, and Lopany using Lacto Shot. Whoa, mm-hmm. wee Yay, she is confused <laughs> until she finds out that all mammal Pokemon can use that move. Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> your, your fetish is showing, my goodness. <sighs> I actually don't think it's a fetish. No, then what other explanation <laughs> I can think this is to be? fit into? I think this is to fit into the whole IIV thing. Yeah, that's the fact. So it's both. Uh, Dentooth and Clefairy were in the kitchen baking cookies. Oh, Elizabeth yeah. Suddenly, suddenly saw both of them were using lactose shot. What the hell? Why are they using lactose shot? Ninja Dragonettes can use it, but Clefairy? <laughs> Why wouldn't we be able to use it? I have a- hair, breathe air, am warm blooded, give live birth, and most importantly, mm, produce milk. <laughs> Thanks, I Dolphin. Dragonette and Elizabeth were confused. They knew that all mammal Pokemon produced milk for their babies, but they didn't know all of them could also. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. They, oh, they didn't know yeah. that all of them could also spit it from their mouth. Oh, okay. so, uh, I did not know that either. <laughs> there was a preposition I added in there at first that made it much worse. So, <laughs> <laughs> Den Tooth, could you Goodness. please could you help me prep some bottles for my babies then? No problem. Even Delphox, Embor, and Meowstic were using lactose. Are they, is this like a water Come fight? On. What is happening? <laughs> Dragonette would use her own, but that could be dangerous because then her babies would get, you know, the fish aids that we keep talking about over mm-hmm. here. No, not from milk. Yeah, they explicitly said the milk does not contr- give it. Yeah. Make sure- and in the bottle warmer, my babies hate cold milk. Gordon, Josie, Aquino, and Ichigo were all puzzled, as was I, because I don't know who these people are. Uh, I'm choosing to think that that's Gordon Ramsay. Oh <laughs> my favorite Pokemon trainer is Gordon Ramsay. Uh, how are all those Pokemon shooting milk from their mouths? Mm, <laughs> Josie needs to be the leader, asking the hard-hitting questions. Quiz time. What is the main feature of mammals that all of them do? Lactose can, like, can I get three people to say uh with me here? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, milk doofuses. All mammals have glands that produce milk. Yeah. Like Therefore. Therefore. All uh, of them can use lactose shot and milk drink. Yes, let, let's not forget. Let's not forget that there is actually a canonical Pokemon that produces milk. Yeah, that's a really good gift themselves. that goes along with it. Yep. Dragonette's babies were starting to cry from being hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, mommy. I'm sorry. My what is your name, though, character? <laughs> <laughs> My name's Milky. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you are what you eat. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. <Ugh. Hey>. Good. <laughs> Terrible. Absolutely okay. terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, what I would like for us to read next, uh, it's not Milsery. I would have said that. Sorry, <laughs> Danny's trying to correct me when I don't need to be corrected. <laughs> oh, God, no. Uh, so we're going to read something, uh, what we, it was actually referred to earlier in the document, the episode of a Pokemon storybook, Live and Let Go. All right. Um, so we're going to go, this is, if you recall, the final appearance of Ultra. Ah, uh, yes. yes. 
the tragic scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Move over death of Superman. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so... When Dragonette has had enough of Ultra's antics, she kills him by breaking the branch he was holding, <laughs> making him fall to his death. Shit. Shit, that's good. <laughs> Dragonette was currently putting her six babies to bed as Ultra watched. On the cliff? Fine. She was nervous when people watched, but was afraid of what he might do to her. She was extremely paranoid about any possible danger to her daughters due to her anxiety and her PTSD. I, yep, I'm gonna yep. go through oh. and punch this person just forever. <laughs> what, like off a cliff? Oh, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll go for that. <laughs> I don't All know right. your fighting type. Hey, Ultra. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> what are you doing there, idiot? You lied to us. You are a traitor. I saw the news that you're a wanted outlaw. My baby's traitor. <laughs> She instinctively put herself in front of them, her mother instincts surging through her mind. <laughs> she tried to pull out his sword, but Dragonette wrestled it away from him. Shifting into mommy mode. Speedo <laughs> and Dragonette were very cross. Oh, come so on. cross that they swung him off and made him close to the edge of a cliff. Good oh, riddance. You said it! But... <laughs> but nothing. Ultra falls and grabs a branch to stop his fall. Order. Holding on a branch! Dragon, it looked at him. <laughs> Wait, could you repeat that? that? Yeah, what? Long you, you die the hated Mary Sue. Yes! <laughs> Long die the hated Mary Sue, x man She then pulled out her blade and sliced the branch. The <gasps> fish watched as his neck snapped as he hit the bottom, screaming. Oh, <laughs> yep, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> oh, die. Uh, Glor Gloricia <laughs> saw Sia. from above Normal name. with her flying type Pokemon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Some stumps right there. Uh, Sugar hugged her blankie. Even though it was made by Ultra, it was still special to her. Oh, <laughs> she war. <laughs> it's over. It's kind of multifaceted story there at the last second. It's a... <laughs> God damn. Uh, so story that was like credit. hated Mary Sue. <laughs> <laughs> long, long time <laughs> hated Mary Sue. <laughs> What did you learn from this uh, this hour and the, the prior hour for those who were here? Block. Well, I learned that uh, fish aids cannot be transmitted by fish milk. That is true. We did learn that. That is something that was established. <laughs> yep, that's true. I learned that nerds online are pedantic weirdos. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, just learned that today. Uh, it's just, real eye just opening. Today. Yeah. My life turned upside down. I learned that. <laughs> I, I wasted all this time watching porn where I could have just listened to my own heartbeat. What the <laughs> fuck? What? Yep. Yep. You could have just watched it. He's just thinking about the last one. I learned I... that I will never, ever get tired of hitting this button. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Never gets old. It never gets old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, maybe. Maybe. I love it. I love guys going so high. God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I learned. <laughs> Just the quote. Uh, I, learned that, I learned that uh, hosting four hours of this is actually a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah, so just to wrap things up, we do have everybody's uh, we do have everybody's information uh, that who won their bids. So uh, uh. don't you worry. Um, we either have it written down or I will be contacted by one of you and we'll make sure that everybody gets connected. So, at the end of our 18 here, we're at uh, $12,447.86. Woo! Uh, yeah! Yay! 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 Rookie numbers. Try harder to impress If you want to, uh, and if you, um... Uh, and uh, everybody, be sure to take one special look at uh, a <laughs> Dijon's art. Yeah, so good. Uh, yes, give, stare give it. Him a big hand because, uh, oh boy, I think, I think the lizard man lot. is spitting up milk into a glass. It's, yeah, yeah. it's doing, it's doing the <laughs> lactose shot. He yep, it's doing lactose oh, shot, and it says, "Don't steal." <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> oh no, oh, dude. What comic is that? I forget. No, I, I love that it's Ultras from Power Up comics. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, well, thank you everybody for indulging our uh, extra credit hours. Uh, stay tuned next hour for uh, Instructables, I think that's what it is. Mm. I believe. Cortex, you're sticking on, sticking around, right? I think so. We'll find yeah. out, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. If, if this button keeps going while I'm here, then you guys will. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the call sign. <laughs> One more time for the road. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.